Hi there, I'm Glenn Withers, one of the founders of APPA, and today I'd like to play around with our massage balls a little bit. So here at APPA, we have looked at an enormous amount of different massage balls in terms of tension, and we now have two different tensions for you. A slightly softer version, you can see that these give in a little bit, um, still not really, really soft. That's because they shouldn't be. And that's why we have these ones, which are the much harder massage balls. Now, the spikes on these balls are here because for these balls to be effective, you have to be able to grip the skin to move the fascia underneath the skin a little bit. A lot of people make the mistake that they should just be a light pressure. Think of it like a deep tissue work. That's what these are there to do for you. So. You can use them in a, a bunch of different ways. One of the best ways to actually use, especially these harder balls, is under the foot. So if you look at the work on the foot here, if I bring the ball under the uh, ball of my foot and you just roll down and through, and roll down and through, you're getting this brilliant release through the fascia underneath your foot. Now you think about the tension that builds up in your body throughout a day. Even if it's just sitting at a desk, it's a very flexed posture, isn't it? Well, by releasing through the foot, I release all the way up the chain of my body. So if you imagine just sitting at your desk, rolling your feet under these harder massage balls for a minute each foot, you're gonna make an enormous difference to the way your whole body feels. But if you're using them in terms of movement and your Pilates exercises, they're great use to use under the lower back or under the glutes there. So you can either use the softer ones or the harder ones. I'm gonna keep using these because they do a better job. They might not be so comfortable, but they're designed to move the fascia. So I much prefer these ones. We're gonna come down onto my back here. And if I grab the balls, and I'll just get these ones out of the way for the moment and I put them, say, under piriforms in the middle of the bottom there. Well, I can do just some general release work through the use of the ball. But if I actually incorporate it into my exercises, and this is the sequence that I love to use with the balls, we keep our centre and we do a one leg stretch, roll out to come up into your hip twist position, bring it back in. So we're going to roll, turn out, Roll up and back in and roll. Turn out, up and back in. If I use the other side, we roll. Turn out, up and back in. And again, I go side to side. Now because I'm working through different directions here, I'm getting different effects on both the muscles and the fascia around the muscle. So I'm going through here what we call a sagittal plane, I'm turning out to rotation, coming through a frontal plane, and back. And all these different movements around the hip are really freeing up what's happening at the back of my hip. Now if I bring that up into my lower back and put it more in those erector spine answers, you know, I can do the same thing. I'm going to come forwards and back and bring it up to get that release back and down. If I reach, come back reach and down. And you can just repeat through these movements to see what feels comfortable. Now of course you can use them on your entire body, up around the shoulder blades, up around the base of the head and neck as well. So two different types, softer, a little bit more kinder, and the harder ones that do an actual better job. So I'll leave it up to you what you decide to use, but they're a great piece of kit in your classes, to take them away traveling with you. Any of your athletic population, your runners should all be doing that foot release for sure. Um, and people just really enjoy that sense of being able to take a deep tissue massage anywhere they go.